Oh, matter of fact, before we go in and watch this video, do me a solid. Hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. Absolutely, uh -huh. sis. But I want you to hear something. Who did Christ come for, sis? The old Christ, Christ came to save all of us. All, all of us or all of the world? The world. Okay, so let's find out what the Bible says, okay? Because we have been uh, poorly indoctrinated using this very book, sis. And the people that indoctrinated us was the same people that brought us in slavery, right? That's why we think Jesus looks like this. Instead of the Bible says that Christ looks like this. This looks a lot more like you and I, right, sis? Not this. But then with this indoctrination also comes Christ came to save everybody. That's right. So let's see what Christ said out of his own mouth. Read. The book of Matthew chapter 15 verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ said he is not sent. Who sent Christ? God the Father, right? Did, did God make a mistake when he sent Christ? Read what Christ said again. But he answered and said, I am not sent but into the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Give me that in uh, uh, Isaiah, I mean Jeremiah 3 and 12, I think. It says, is Israel a homeborn slave? Right, why would Christ be sent to the Israelites? I'll give you a, a simple answer. Because damn near from our inception, we have been in slavery. Since the time of the Egyptians, the Assyrians, the Babylonians, the uh, Greeks, the uh, Persians, Persians and media, even down to um, the Arabs, even all the way up to America today. The Israelites, these people you see on this sign, have been enslaved. They have been in slavery to all nations on the planet. So why do the other nations need to be saved? Look at these stores around you. Who owns these stores? Sis, my sis, come talk to me really quick. Right, who owns these stores? Are they y'all? Are they your people? Or is it the China man? Is it the Japanese man? Is it the Caucasian man? Is it the Arab man? Who owns the stores in your community? What's up, man? What's your, what's your question? I believe that he was sent to save those who believe. You right. He was sent to save those who believe. Give me that in Luke 1. I'm going to show you who he was meant to save because there is a people that needs to be saved. And it's not everybody. That's right. It's not who can get a knee put on their neck. And, and now we got to sit back and practically beg for this man to go to prison. When we all watch to murder somebody, do, we, do, do they have to beg? If you murder somebody, do they have to beg and plead to God that you get just, I mean, get uh, put in prison? Do they have to do that? No. Who has to do that? The other nations don't need to be saved. Saved from what? They run the world. They can come into your community and open up stores. You can't go into their communities and open stores. Who needs to be saved? Who's police like you are? Who's police like you are? Read what you got. The book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Read. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Of who? Of Israel. Here's that name again. Remember, we read in the Bible. The Bible, we are taught that God is for everybody. The Bible says, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Israel. It's always saying that from beginning to end. Right. We have been poorly indoctrinated. We go to Christian church, put our money into a bucket and, uh, and ask a man to teach us about the Bible and he lies to you. Read. The book of Luke chapter 1 verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel Read. for he hath visited and redeemed his people. For God has visited and redeemed his people. That's right. His people. His people. Who are his people? The Israelites. Israel. Read and have raised up an horn of salvation for us. For us, the Israelites. Who's that horn of salvation? Christ. Who has raised up a horn of salvation for us. Not everyone, not the world. Read. In the house of his servant David. Read. And he spake by, by mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. You listening, man? Listen carefully. Read. That we. That we. That we, the Israelites. That Israel, we should be what? 
should be saved from our enemies. From our enemies. If God was here to save the whole world, who's the enemies? That's right. If God was here to save, the Bible documents 18 nations. If the Bible says we need to be saved from our enemies, then that means none of the other nations are enemies. That means everyone's good, God is cool with everybody, and no one specifically needs to be saved. But the Bible says the Israelites need to be saved from their enemies. Read. That we should be saved from our enemies uh -huh. and from the hand of all that hate us. Who hates us? Who hates us? Who time and time again shows their bitter and utter contempt for our people? Who does that? Who does that? Who shows our people hatred? Who shows our race the most hatred? We do. We, you're right. We do. And guess what? The Bible's talking about us too, the wicked of our people. But I'm talking about as, as we are a race of people, who shows, do any other race of people show us any love or uh, uh, adulation? Do they? No, they don't. You move into their neighborhoods, they move out. That's right. You come up to them talking about weak, well, they look at you like, uh, Negro, you a slave. That's how they look at you. They hate you. Give me that in Leviticus 26, 17. The Bible says that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all. We are that our own enemies. We are. But guess what? In spite of that, God going to save us because we are God's sons and daughters. We are the ones that can repent. And that's what we're teaching you, that the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans need to repent. You are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Read what you got. The book of Leviticus, chapter 26, verse 17. Read. I know I set my face against you, and you shall be slain before your enemies. Who's slain before the enemies? Who's slain by the hands of the enemies? If I kill you, I'm going to prison immediately. That's right. And rightfully so, because the Bible says thou shalt not kill. But what if a Chinese person kills you? Is he going to jail immediately? No. If a white man kills you, is he going to jail immediately? No. He gonna get off on good behavior. If they talking about right now because of what a, 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 a governor said, they're talking about potentially calling a mistrial for the man that just killed George Floyd. George Floyd. They're talking about a mistrial now because of what a government person said, right? Does that happen with us? No. So why are they trying so hard to find a loophole to let this man off? Well, exactly. Exactly. Read what you got. The book of Leviticus, chapter 26, verse 17. Read. I know I set my face against you, huh? and ye shall be slain before your enemies, read. that they that hate you shall they reign. They that hate you, read, shall reign over you. Who rules the world? The same people that hate you. The same people that put chains on your neck. The same people that took you from your, your parents. The same people that took your children from you. The same people that beat your back castrated you, cut your necks off, hung you from trees. The same people that told you that Jesus was Caucasian and not black like you are. The same man teaches you that hates you. The Bible says he that hates you shall rule over you. It it's not you that rules over you. It's not you that run the communities. It's not you that build the schools. It's not you that legislate laws. It is the so-called white man. It's the so-called Arab man. It's the so-called China man that rules over you. And they hate you, black man. They hate you, black woman. Read it again. They that hate you shall reign over you, and ye shall flee when none pursue with you. Lamentations 4 and uh, 17, right? And then we're going to get some laws. Because we have been watching the television for weeks, hoping to God that Derek Chauvin goes to prison. And when we got a guilty verdict, what did we do? We got excited, didn't we? Why, why was that so exciting to us? Why was that so uh, miraculous? It's because we don't get that. That's right. It's because this man has time and time again showed you much hatred. That's right. And he has gotten off with time and time. We saw so accustomed to this man getting away with murder that we practically, oh my God, I can't believe this man actually got a guilty verdict. Who has, who has to live their lives this way other than us? What race of people live this way? You got to ask yourself these questions, black man and black woman. Bring it who up. lives that way? You live that way. The other nations don't got to worry about that. You do something to them, the whole community coming against you. That's right. And everybody down with that. Read what you got. The book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 17. Read. As for us. As for us. 
As for us, the black man, the Israelite that the Bible speaks of, read. As for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. That's why we were watching the TV hoping that this man got a guilty verdict. Because we looking for vain help. We're hoping that the same man that killed this brother helps us. That's what we're looking for. We're hoping that this white man somehow gets some compassion and says, you know what? I think I'm the devil. But when in history has he said it? You know what? I think I'm the devil. When does this happen? Someone tell me. It ain't happened. Right. And it ain't going to happen. You know why? Because he's rich off of your labor. Right. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Why give it back? We got to take it. That's what we got to do. That's what they took it from us. They going to give it back? Read what you got. As for us, our eyes as yet fell for our vain help. Read. And our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. We watching for America to finally save us. But they brought us over here as slaves. How does it make sense to wait for your slave master to save you from himself? Right. Does that happen? No. Name a book, movie, or anything in history where the oppressor stopped oppressing the oppressed. What usually happens to make the oppressor stop? A hero has to come. That's right. Someone has to come and save the oppressed from the oppressor. That's right. You understand? All right, so let's find out why these things happen to us. Because we are the Israelites. The reason why the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans get astronomical punishments is because we are God's sons and daughters, right. and only us. Lam not Lamentations, Joel 2 and 27, then we're right. going to get the curses. I'm going to show you something, and you're going to learn something that the people of the church do not teach you. That your Creflo Dollars, that your T.D. Jakes, that your Joe Lawsteins do not teach you according to the Bible. They take your damn money, and then they go off and live in mansions, and drive Bentleys and Hummers. They don't teach you the Bible, because the Bible doesn't teach religion. The Bible teaches law and order, something that the black man and black woman do not understand. This is why our communities, we're constantly robbing each other. This is why we're stealing. This is why we're committing adultery, sleeping with each other's men and women. We're not raising our kids. We're not being fathers. We're not being mothers. We got churches on every corner. We got plenty of religion in our community. That's right. The only thing we do not have is law and order. That's this is right. Why the police officers are flooding your communities because you are a lawless people. Read what you got. The book of Joel chapter 2 verse 27. And ye should know that I am in the midst of Israel. You ever wonder why our people get slaughtered at the rate of an endangered species and we still ain't dying off? That's because the Bible says that God is in the midst of you, Israel. You are the, uh, the apple of God's eye. That's right. Wherever you are, God is in the midst of you. He will only let these heathens go but so far with you. Read. And that... I am the Lord, your God. And that he is the Lord, your God, black man. Your God, black woman. Read. And none else. And none else. That's in the Bible. You ever heard that before, sis? You ain't never heard that a day in your life, have you? How come? You going to church, right? Why has no one read this to you? That God is your God and nobody else's. That sounds, not, that, that doesn't just sound possessive. That sounds uh, what's that word? Racist. That's right. That's what that sounds like. God is a racist. He does not care about every other race on the planet. They teach you that. This is why when you get killed, we beg this white man for forgiveness. Why we beg him for forgiveness? He kills us. That's right. He slaughters us. He comes into our communities and gentrifies it and takes it from you. Why do we got to beg this man? God don't. Look, let's, give me that now, uh, uh, second answer. Not second as uh, where's that? What you want? Second as six? six yeah. yeah, give me that second as six, right? I'm gonna prove it again. The Bible is only for you. God is only for you. Let's find out what God feels about the other nations. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I am racist. Cause that's what we hear a lot. Y'all teaching hate. Y'all teaching racism. Let's see what the Bible says. We believe in the Bible, right? Let's find out what God himself is, and you determine if I'm spewing hatred and racism, or is God, in fact, a racist? Read. The book of 2nd Andrews, chapter 6, verse 54. Read. After, and after these, Adam also, whom, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, Read. of him come we all. We hear that in church, right? We all come from Adam, right? Read. 
And the people also whom thou hast chosen. And also the people who God chose. The Israelites is who God chose. The nation of Israel. Jacob had 12 sons. And those 12 sons had children. And those children became a nation known as the, the nation of Israel. The sons of Israel, which is Jacob. You following me? So the Bible says that everybody comes from Adam. And also the people whom you chose, God, being the Israelites. Read all this I have spoken before thee, O Lord, huh? because thou madest the world for our sakes. God, you made the world for our sakes. The Israelites, the world exists because you live. Why do you think you can't die all so quickly? No matter what they do to you, you still have children and procreate and multiply. They can't kill you fast enough because you're populating so much. That tells you how blessed you are if you shall come back to your power, which is God. The God that looks like you. Not this. This ain't God. This is leprosy. God don't got leprosy. That's Pigmentation has life in it. Your body has the sun yielding its light upon it. The sun don't hurt you. The sun don't make you get uh, red blotches on your skin. Sunburn. Your, your skin gets shiny and glorious with the sun. That's right. How is God a, lepre a leprous person when he made the sun? That's right. The sun heals you, black man. Stand up to your power. Read. As for the other people. As for the other people. Because God loves everybody, right? Read. Which also come, um, I'm sorry, come, um, Read it again. as for other people, uh -huh. which also come of Adam. Which also come, the other races come from Adam too, right? Read. Thou hast said. You said, God. That they are nothing. What did God say? They are nothing. Read. But be like unto spittle. God called them spit in his mouth. That's what the Bible says. Read. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. And God likens. Uh, the Bible says that there are 18 nations. One of those nations is Israel. So that leaves 17 other nations. God said you could take all 17 other races of people and put them all together and they are nothing to God but a drop that falls from a bucket. Bring it up. That's what the Bible says. That's right. 17 races versus one race is like to the drop that falls from a bucket. You know why? Because God don't love everybody. God loves the Israelites. He does not care about the other races of people. Not much like a father really doesn't care too much about what other people do with their children. They care about their children. This is why we all can relate to it. If your children don't do what you uh, tell them to do, what you gonna do to them? You gonna bust their tail, right? Are you gonna bust the neighbor's kid's tail if you don't do what you tell them to do? Why not? Because right, because you gonna go to jail. He ain't your child. That's how God get down. Our people suffer punishment because our father is God. The other nations are bastards. They don't have a God. Just us. We are the ones made in the image of God. Not, not everybody. We are made in the image of God. Now. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.